Russia has a big problem. It can't make an AESA radar. Introduction Russia is consistently bragging about their capabilities how advanced their systems are. They make fancy propaganda videos, which is closer to science fiction than to reality. This is part of Russia's propaganda strategy. On the other side, the fact looks grimmer. According to RT News, none of the VKS aircraft has been fitted with an AESA radar, including Su-57 and Su-75. Russia is yet to produce a production fighter aircraft with an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar. In an interview with Takeoff.ru newspaper, Tykomarov NIIP Director General Yuri Belly said the design bureau had developed six prototype AESA radars for Su-57 aircraft. Sikhoi Design Bureau uses the first two radars for bench tests. Two radars were sent to the Russian Air Force for flight trials. Later, Sikhoi dismounted AESA radar from Su-57 due to unsatisfactory performance. NIIP retained two AESA radars for test and debugging purposes. Phased array radar will be a mainstay for Russia's current and future fighter aircraft, reported Takeoff.ru, citing Director General Yuri Belly. Who has AESA radar? The Lockheed Martin F-22, F-35, F-16 Block 60, F-16 V Block 72, and Boeing Super Hornet Block 2, Super Hornet Block 3 and F-15 EX all have AESA radars. The European Eurofighter, Rafal and Gripen all have AESA radars. Even the Leonardo M346 FA light combat aircraft has an AESA radar. The South Korean KF-21 and Japanese F-2 and F-3 fighters have AESA radars. Current Russian Aircraft The latest Sukhoi Su-30SM, Su-35, Su-75, Su-57 and MiG-35 do not possess an AESA radar system. Heat Issues Russian-made radar produces heat, air cooling and liquid-cooled chamber didn't work, more computer challenges and software challenges, and making everything work and play nice together in a confined space without overheating is impossible for Russian engineers who have never done it before. The airborne radar is not a Russian clunky air defense radar that can radiate heat to the atmosphere. Not to mention heavyweights and legacy electronics which likely cause performance, power, size, weight, and reliability issues now you add cost at after-sales service. There are easier things to make and sell, like the Yak-130 and Kalashnikov. More issues in Russian AESA, data processing side, either hardware or software. We know computers are not Russia's strength. It could be related to Russian doctrine, Russian likes their equipment rugged and cheap. They may prefer to build more airframes rather than upgrade the ones they have with expensive radars. U.S. and EU Embargo Due to the American and EU Embargo, Russian state-run companies ran out of money, which could help them develop next-generation technology. Talented scientists left Putin's regime to a freedom elsewhere. Hence Russia ran out of talent. Like most people, who are smart enough to find a better job in EU countries and away from state-run industries, which will offer peanuts salaries. Russia's $65.1 billion defense budget is insufficient compared to America's $1.4 trillion defense budget. Technological Challenges Technological challenges are the biggest problem for Russia to overcome. You can't overcome technical challenges by simply throwing money at the problem. Russia does not have high-tech industry, world-class resources, engineering talent and experience to advance AESA in the way that American Raytheon, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman in particular, and European Leonardo, Saab, Thales or BAE system can do. Advanced microelectronics, computer technology and chipset and software are not Russia's strength. Russia's private sector does not have any incentives to do R&D on developing AESA radar since the Russian state controls the defense industry. Russia will continue with what works and what they can manufacture using the Urbis E, non-AESA, on the frontline Su-35. Little is known regarding the status or production plans for the AESA radar on board the Su-57 and MiG-35, other than it's an ongoing project. To summarize, 
Russia is the only country offering fighter jets to export markets without an AESA radar. The Su-57 and Flanker family, in general, have a crowd pleasure in airshows with its Cobra maneuver, but look beneath the propaganda. They really don't excel anywhere outside the airshows. You can safely ignore fanboy claims of AESA radar being fitted to the Su-57 and MiG-35, as the Egyptian Air Force, Algerian Air Force, PLA Air Force and Indian Air Force didn't believe that claim. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.